Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is the Beware spread. We have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Lovers, we have the Devil, we have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or another Capricorn, or pretty much anybody. This is a general reading. Um, so this month, what you should be aware of is you'll have a very, very difficult decision to make. This decision could be about your work, your business, and your finances, or it could be about love. So we've got the um, Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Pentacles is about work, or it's about working on something. So perhaps you'll have a decision whether you want to start a new job or not, whether you should uh, stay or go, or whether you should put effort into a situation or a relationship or continue to put effort into it. We've got the devil right there in the middle. That is your personal card, Capricorn. That is you. Don't be afraid of the devil card. And you're right in the middle. It's very symbolic that uh, the cards came out this way. On the left from the devil, from you, we have uh, the Ten of Wands. And on the right from the devil, we have the Eight of Swords. Both cards are very similar. The uh, Ten of Wands, this is a card of a burden or an additional responsibility or a burden uh, because of this uh, decision you'll have to make. And the Eight of Swords, this is a card of somebody who is stuck, somebody who is trapped potentially in their own thoughts. All of that is because you will have to make some kind of a choice. The Ten of Wands, the card on the left, is clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with or the Lovers is a choice card. The Eight of Swords on the right from the Devil is clarified by the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is also a multiple choice card. So, like I said, this spread screams a very difficult decision for you. Whether it could be about work, or it could be about a relationship. Whether you should put effort into it, or continue to put effort into it, or uh, move on to something new. If uh, you're getting a new job offer, if you're getting a, a new relationship offer, right? So uh, let's take a look at the advice spread. The advice spread often reveals more details. Here's the advice spread for you, Capricorn. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Teal Ones, we have the High Priestess, we have the Chariot, and uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. So uh, the advice for you is to choose new or to move forward choose to move forward choose to go ahead or choose to accept new the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is that offer that we saw in the first spread right we did not have the ace of pentacles but we did see you being um, kind of confused about the offer whether you should stay or go whether you should accept the new offer or continue to work on uh, what you currently have. So the answer is choose new with the Ace of Pentacles. The two of ones, the first card that came out, this is you making that decision. This is a, uh, yet another decision making card. The High Priestess, this is um, either a suggestion, right, <laughs> to use your own intuition, right? The High Priestess could be something hidden from you, so perhaps you don't see the potential just yet, it's being hidden from you. And uh, the chariot could be a uh, cancer you're dealing with, or it's all about moving forward. The chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. The chariot is also one of the victory cards. So in the long run, you will feel victorious. In the long run, it will pay off in a big way. So like I said, choose new. All right, and uh, we're moving on to uh, spread number three. Spread number three is about the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Capricorn. This is the next good thing that will happen to you in April that will at least put a smile on your face spread. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the World, and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So the Ace of Pentacles came out again. This is a different deck. <laughs> so this is going to be the next good thing. 
Capricorn. And it could be about finances after all, or a new job. Right, so the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is something rushing into your life very, very quickly, very, very swiftly, probably unexpectedly, right? The Knight of Swords could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius coming in, but, but I, I do feel like a tornado effect. This is going to come into your life and you'll be faced with, a, with that very difficult decision we saw in the first spread. And uh, the choice, the decision we also see in the Six of Pentacles right there in the middle, right? So um, this person in the middle is holding up the scale, so it's all about the pros and cons, it's all about weighing all options here, and uh, you do have two options because the person is standing up also has uh, two people kind of sitting down, right? So this person is making a choice, this person is making a decision about those two people or those two options. The first card that came out is the Ace of Pentacles. This is that offer coming into your life uh, very quickly, very unexpectedly. And uh, the last card that came out is the World. The World is my happy end card. So one chapter of your life will be coming to an end. And the new chapter, a very happy chapter of your life, will be beginning if you decide to accept this offer. And uh, like I said, during the first spread, choose new. If this is something brand new, then don't be afraid. Go ahead and accept it. I know Capricorn, you are an earth sign and uh, it could be difficult for you to um, make sudden changes and uh, there is nothing wrong with that Capricorn. This is just the way you guys are. But um, the universe every once in a while throws us uh, curved balls, right? So it's one of those times. And uh, you will have to act Swiftly, you'll just have to act on the fly. I do see a great potential with this new offer. And like I said, it could be about work, business, and finances. It could also be about love. If this is about love, then this is a very serious offer coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, all right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And uh, other than that, have an amazing April. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.